my name is Melissa for those of you who are new and I am currently in Denver. I just got to the Airbnb and it's really, really cute. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick tour. It is 5.12 Denver time, which means it's 7.12 in Philly. I'm starving. I have not eaten anything all day. So I'm just gonna get settled, touch up, go grab a bite to eat somewhere. I'll go ahead and show you guys the Airbnb really quick. I'll give you guys a tour. It's in the basement, so you come down these little stairs. And here's the kind of, I guess, entertainment area. So there's a cute little coffee pot, place for you to hang your clothes, TV, mini fridge, microwave, and then here's a full length mirror, which is awesome. And then here is the bed. It's got its cute two little nightstands and stuff. And then over here is the bathroom. So, bathroom. It's cute. Nice big double vanity sink. And then this nice stand up shower, and it's got a little bench. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just touch up my makeup, my hair. I look all crazy after a day of full travel, and then get some food because I am famished. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Good morning guys. So it is just about to be nine in the morning. It is Friday. So day two of day two of the Denver, Colorado trip. So I'm gonna head out for breakfast right now. I'm gonna go to the Denver Biscuit Company and then I'm going to head over to the Denver Botanic Gardens. I feel like that'll be a nice little day. And then in the evening where I do have the Jesse James Decker concert, so I'm excited for that. I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I'm wearing today. Just something very simple, basic. But here's my outfit, it's just like a nude cami bodysuit and then I've got my double buckled belt and then my mom jeans. These are the only jeans I packed because I one love these are super comfy and my converse which need a cleaning but whatevs <laughs> but they're also really versatile so if you're ever just like trying to pack limited outfits um just get a really good pair of staple jeans that you can kind of mix and match with anything but we're gonna go ahead and hit the road go get some yummy breakfast and then head out and check out downtown Denver <music> Thank you. 
guys so it is officially saturday and i'm about to head out to get some brunch um i just got done getting ready i got to go to the concert last night and that was a lot of fun you guys saw some b-roll of that got to go to dinner eat some really good tacos and yeah today i'm just gonna explore um denver i want to check out another brewery that was recommended by someone so it's denver beer co um so I might do that today and then yeah let's just kind of take full advantage of the first weekend day in Denver. Airbnb. So the last time I checked in with you guys might have been this morning, right before brunch. So after brunch, I checked out Dairy Block, which is a really cool little alley and this kind of um, little shopping area that's got restaurants and little shops. And then I headed over to Denver Beer Company, suggested by Heather last night, and it was so awesome. They have all these awesome selection of beers. I tried a little beer flight and as you guys saw, there were dogs everywhere and it was the best thing. And I ran into a couple of people from Texas. So that was really nice. Had some really awesome conversations with a couple of locals and some other people visiting. I will be going out tonight, probably hit up one of the bars in Rhino, which is like River North area of Denver. <laughs> Okay, so I just stopped by Voodoo Donuts to get breakfast. Yum. So it's the blueberry, dirt, triple chocolate penetration, and the Homer donut. So I'm trying the blueberry one. It's real good. It's so yummy. Oh my god, I'm gonna like go into a freaking um, diabetic shock. I'm not diabetic, but I might be after all these donuts. 
All right, guys. So I just got done packing in the Jeep. I literally pulled up like a couple of blocks from the Airbnb because I was running late. So I literally just stuffed everything into bags and I got most of it fitting in there. If anything, I'm just going to have to take out this like chunky sweater that I packed and just wear it on the plane so my bag can close properly. Um, right now it is 1230. I'm going to go to Avanti and I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna get lunch there. Probably get a couple of drinks. Then I wanna head over to this uh, beer garden. It's called Reese's Beer Garden. So I wanna check that out as well. I'm gonna get a uh, little man's ice cream today and just kind of bop around Denver, honestly, until my flight. <laughs> Game of Thrones season eight. It's the first episode that airs after like two years. Um, and I just found out that it's supposed to be airing at seven, I think. So I'm gonna try to catch it and I'm gonna try to watch it on my phone if I can. I'm gonna go pop in to a coffee shop and just take my headphones with me and like plug it in. So if you guys are Game of Thrones fans, you guys know how long this has been waited for so if I can watch it in Denver like I'm gonna watch it here like I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow to watch it this is my last official day in Denver and it's been so much fun um today was a really nice day I'm so glad that it finally cleared up and it was sunny and it was a good temperature today because it was kind of cold and a little um snowy as you guys saw at the beginning of the trip but it's definitely cleared up so I'm really excited and happy that it has and yeah I just want to end this trip on a good note so if I can watch Game of Thrones and have a bomb meal get to the airport on time get on the flight fall asleep land in philly on time to go to work tomorrow uh we'll be good so i'll catch up with you guys in a bit priorities whenever game of thrones is airing tonight and you set it up in the car with surround sound 